why do so many saxophone players' marriages fail? Because blaming it on the reed doesn't always work. <laughs> Welcome to today's vlog. I hope you've already voted on the previous vlog uh, for the four greatest tenor saxophone mouthpieces ever. Well, as far as I've got, anyway. Uh, make sure you go back and vote if you haven't done already. And make sure you are subscribing uh, to this channel if you don't already. It's really important if you subscribe because that means you get told when the videos come out and you can find out and watch my videos as soon as they are released. Um, today, the 13th of March, it's not always an easy day for me. I explained a lot in this vlog uh, about why the date a few years ago about grief is the price we pay for love including the Queen being in the vlog if you've never noticed that Her Majesty the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh are in this vlog I suggest you go back and watch the intro again they're in it for a fraction of a second but they're in it anyway uh, on Monday I was back in London again it was Commonwealth Day and I had to take some pictures sadly we didn't get the picture I wanted which was the Queen driving past our building as she arrived at the Abbey but I did see some half decent photographs which you can see on my Instagram feed if you don't uh, follow me on Instagram please go over there and follow me but yeah it's it's an anniversary of the day my auntie passed away and it's always slightly somber and I'm not blaming that for the reason I'm also just a terrible procrastinator. Today's also the first day in about two weeks where I've not had to be doing either loads of things or trying to recover from doing loads of things and so what I really wanted to do this morning was get a good two or three hours worth of practice done and I haven't really done that because as you've seen I spent a lot of time prattling around with reeds, mouthpiece setups, changing ligatures and that just takes away a huge amount of time that you should be spending practicing and I should be spending practicing doing and there's an old joke in music circles why do so many saxophone players marriages fail because blaming it on the reed doesn't always work and we're very very hot on trying to blame our gear and blame this and the other actually what we really need to do is get on and practice and with that in mind um, I'm going to go back onto the Sios I've been you know experimenting around in a way I kind of I want the link to sound better than the Sios but at the minute it isn't the Sios is out blowing the link in my mind now don't let that confuse you on the on the blindfold test one of the things I did during my practice which I'm going to show you now is I played this Spark CPE box that's JS box one of JS box sons uh, this beautiful flute sonata that he wrote that I'm playing for a classical recital coming up in London in August and um, this is how it sounds on the Sios <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The golden rule then is don't spend all your time prattling around with reeds and mouthpieces, changing shaving reeds, everything else like that. Spend the time practicing. If you're in that mode where it's difficult to focus on practice, I, as I've said before, I strongly suggest that you get some classical pieces as I was doing there. Maybe pick a jazz standard. One of the most valuable practice times I've ever had and I've said this to students before and maybe we'll do Have You Met Miss Jones or something similar as the next DF challenge after follow-up for the Blues challenge but when Amy was a baby my daughter and um, we lived in, in Northern Ireland one of the things I had there is the studio was outside of the house it was sort of next to the house but there was a separate entrance so I couldn't leave her when she was asleep in the garden after a lunch when she was like six eight months old and I wanted to practice so what I used to do is put her have give her a lunch put her out in the pram and then I'd keep my saxophone in the house from the night before, my, my tenor, and I'd just have my tenor and a metronome, and I'd spend that time playing standards in all 12 keys. So things like Cheek to Cheek and Chelsea Bridge, Body and Soul, St. Thomas, Blues Heads like Blue Seven, Tenor Madness, learning those in all 12 keys just on my own. And when you start taking them into F sharp or D flat or B or A flat, some of them, like St. Thomas feels weird in e A flat major, this is all on tenor keys of course, you really start to develop a dexterity on those numbers that you don't have if you're constantly playing them in the same key. Now it's not to say that you need to play them in different keys, sometimes with singers you do have to play things in different keys, but as a tenor player, even being able to play St. Thomas in A flat means that you've got that extra flexibility to move things to a tritone. You know, it just gives you this, uh, it's really, really, really important. I don't go there often enough. One of the things I want to do is get better at getting some more quotes in my playing. Quotes are often a, a difficult thing to think. Some people think they're very cheesy. I think they've got a good effect to them. Um, you know, and especially when you're playing to an audience that isn't a jazz audience. If you've got some quotes in your bag, you can often engage an audience that wouldn't necessarily be engaged with the music. Um, in a way that maybe you wouldn't before. Anyway, I need to get on with some more practice. I've got, if you're not aware, if you go to my website, there's loads of dates when I'm playing. I realize that if you're in the States, like a good half of my audience, half of my subscribers are now, which is amazing. Um, it's gonna be a bit more difficult, but maybe maybe we need to organize a tour to the States sometime. Well, we'll see, I'd love to do it. Um, I'm dying to get back. Anyway, let's get practice done. <laughs> Wow. 
that is the way to practice really get a standard of bebop head get a good drum beat on and try and play it as accurately as you can trying to play all the different parts just been working with a couple of students tonight on that taking we were working on yardbirds with the students but i was working there on confirmation playing the head badly as i did um <laughs> playing a bass line trying to see if you can play harmonically through it like you would on the piano and then trying to play solos but keeping in time and listening to the drummer trying to mimic how the drummer plays trying to take some of the rhythmic ideas in your improvisation that a drummer takes on it's a great way of doing it ultimately though you can have a plan which is a really good idea which our politicians don't seem to have right now but let's not go there as somebody just commented on twitter Right now, the British Parliament makes the White House look pretty normal. <laughs> but there we go. And of course, the other major news story is Instagram's down, which is causing equal... So, kind of people over about 25 are absolutely throwing... Absolutely going mental on Twitter over what's happening currently. And people under 25 are going mental because Instagram doesn't happen. So, what a day to be on Twitter. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. I do hope uh, you'll go through it. I do, as I've spoken before have in the pipeline a really really good book that's going to help you practice i'm just waiting for the graphic designer that i want to do the work to get in touch with me so that we can start working together and i can come at you guys with a pitch on kickstarter to maybe get this it's, it's a really good practice strategy book with a planner and everything i think it's going to transform my practice and hopefully transform yours so thank you very much for watching don't forget to check out uh, my last vlog here this is what i was up to this time last year of course hit that subscribe button i'll be back with you at the weekend with the q a vlog i look forward to seeing you in. thank you very much for watching bye bye